What's up guys, it's Chris Majestic, and one thing I have a love-hate relationship with is putting up Christmas lights every year. Now, of course, the goal is always to bring a smile to my kids' faces, but it always seems to be the coldest day of the year that I find myself on a ladder fighting with lights. Well, those days are officially over now thanks to these new permanent outdoor pro lights from Govi. So who the heck is Govi? Well, Govi has been in the LED lighting business since around 2017, and they're easily one of the best-selling and fastest growing lighting brands on the market. Govi makes some pretty awesome products and I've been using their lights around my house for several years now. And with the success of their permanent outdoor lights from last year, they took it a step further and made some pretty significant improvements to them and they look amazing. So aside from being weatherproof and controllable from a smartphone, these LED lights also have IC or integrated circuit technology, which means you can control each light individually, which allows you to do all sorts of cool effects and custom animations. And with them being marketed as permanent outdoor lights, they come with an IP67 waterproof rating, so they're built to withstand the harshness of being installed outside all year round, and they offer a good amount of customization and installation features that make them stand out from the competition. Now, I actually have a few lights here with me today. I have the 100-foot permanent outdoor lights, which is last year's version, and I have both the 100-foot and the brand new 200-foot version of the permanent outdoor lights Pro, which was just recently released. Now, Gobi was nice enough to sponsor today's video and send out the 100 foot outdoor pro kit and the 100 foot regular outdoor kit, but I actually ended up purchasing the 200 foot kit when I saw it pop up on Amazon last week, since it has a key piece of hardware included with it that I'll talk about in a second. So in the 200 foot permanent outdoor pro box, you get some documentation, matter installation guide, since the pro kit supports matter, and a quick start guide. And you get several LED bundles that come in sets of 10, and each set has a waterproof connector for you to add as many strips as you need. You also get a ton of accessories, including a bunch of extra splicing connections, installation clips with screws, a bunch of extra outdoor rated double-sided tape, extension cables for you to jump from one section of your house to another, a 36 volt power supply and control box. And since this is the 200 foot kit, you get something called an LED driver module. This module allows you to install more than 150 feet of lights. So you just install this module in line after your fifth light segment, and then you can install the rest of the segments up to 200 feet. Okay, so before I get into the installation, I wanna briefly go over the differences between the new Pro Kit and the previous model, since it could be a bit confusing if you don't know what you're looking at. The older model is known as the Permanent Outdoor Lights, and the latest model is known as the Permanent Outdoor Lights Pro. The biggest difference between the two versions is that the Pro Kit has a total of seven individual LED pixels with the addition of dedicated white and warm white LEDs for more efficient and significantly better looking white light compared to the non-Pro Kit. This also results in a higher brightness rating of 50 lumens per light versus 25 lumens per light on the non-Pro Kit. The Pro version also has a different lens design, which results in slightly better light dispersion. And speaking of light dispersion, the Pro Kit actually spaces the LEDs farther apart at 18 and a half inches versus 15 inches of spacing on the non-Pro Kit. So the Pro Kit has slightly less lights per segment, but I'll talk more about that later. And as I just mentioned, the Pro Kit now has a 200 foot version, while the longest non-Pro Kit is 150 feet. The Pro version also comes with either black or white wiring as opposed to just white on the older version. Another difference is that the Pro also officially supports splicing so you can cut off any unneeded lights without affecting your lighting designs. Another difference is that the Pro Kit has matter support which makes it easier to integrate into your smart home. And the last difference is cost as the Pro Kit retails for around a hundred bucks more than the non-Pro Kit. But Gobi does run deals all the time so make sure you check the links in the video description as I'll make sure I throw the best deal in there. All right, so enough about specs, let's get into the installation. Well, even though I had planned on installing these lights myself, I quickly realized that the soffits of my house were up way too high for me to reach with any ladder I own, and it was way beyond my comfort zone when it comes to height. So the night after I got the lights in the mail, I was browsing Facebook and stumbled across a post from GNS Electrical Services with a picture of Govi Permanent Outdoor Lights saying to contact them today to have your lights installed. GNS came out two days later and happily installed the lights for me. And not only were these guys genuinely awesome people, but they added a new outlet in my garage for the lighting controllers. They meticulously measured everything out perfectly and installed the lights with no issues, and they made sure I was happy with it. Now, of course, I could have done some of the install myself since it's pretty easy with the included double-sided tape and clips, but I do have to admit that watching them install the lights 
almost 50 feet off the ground in 40 degree weather while I sipped on some hot coffee definitely made things a lot easier. So if you're in the Maryland area and you're interested in getting some of these lights professionally installed, I highly recommend GNS and I'll throw their info in the video description if you wanna reach out to them. Now, when I originally had the guys install these lights, I had them install the 100 foot pro kit for most of the house and I used the non pro kit for the rest. I figured that since you can easily group the lights together in the app that this would be just fine. Now, even though it did work out pretty well, I found that with certain lighting scenes or colors, you could tell that I was using two different kits. Now, when it comes to color, they were very similar, but I did find that with certain colors, the pro kit was slightly brighter, even though it wasn't that drastic. I also assumed that the extra three and a half inches of spacing on the pro kit would be noticeable, but I could barely tell. But the one thing that was drastically different was when I switched the lights over to white. This is definitely where the pro kit shines considering it has those dedicated white channels. I also noticed that when I tried to run certain lighting scenes with the lights grouped together, that there was a difference in latency between the different models, which was a little bit distracting. So this is what prompted me to go out and buy the 200 foot kit. And since I had the other pro kit left over, I figured it would be cool to add the rest of the lights to my garage doors, since there might be times where I wanna easily turn those lights off or control them separately from the rest of the house. Now, one thing I do wanna mention about installation is that it's recommended that with either of these kits that you install them around two to three inches away from the wall, which will produce an angled glow of light from each LED module. This means that it's best to install the lights on a soffit under your roof line. Now, if you don't have an overhang, it doesn't mean that you can't install them. It just means that they may not look their best. So for example, I didn't originally plan to install any lights over my porch since there's no overhang there, but I thought it would look weird with nothing there. So I had the installers do their best to install the lights there anyways. Now, even though it doesn't look as good as all the rest of the lights, it still does look pretty good even with them being so close to the wall. All right, so what all can you do with these lights? Well, the possibilities are endless with these things considering you can control each individual pixel. And the star of the show here is definitely the Govi app. Not only is the app really intuitive, but you can really get into the weeds when it comes to customization. And the first thing I did was create a light group with both of my pro lights. This allows me to control both of them simultaneously and easily run lighting effects on both kits at the same time. And as you can see, the controls are easy to understand and really intuitive. If you just want something simple and you're not into the whole DIY thing, they even have an AI lighting effects mode where you can just tell the lighting bot what kind of lighting theme you want and it'll create it for you. It has a music mode which can use the built-in microphone inside of the controller or you can use the mic on your phone to make your lights react to some music. And you get a bunch of lighting controls under the color tab where you can choose different colors for different segments, or you can go into the advanced settings and go crazy with a fully customized look. Here you can control each individual light, making them whatever color you want and choose the type of lighting effect you want for them and even adjust the speed. I had a lot of fun creating my own fun animations and I can see how someone can spend hours in here doing all kinds of crazy stuff. But if you're not really into the custom stuff, Govi has a ton of preset animations under the scene tab. You can do rainbow animations, fire, moonlight, Christmas time, Halloween, and all sorts of cool animations. And if you thought the color section wasn't enough customization for you, then you can go over to the DIY tab and really go crazy. I didn't spend a whole lot of time here, but I did make a pretty cool blue animation that looks pretty awesome. And if you're looking for even more, you can head over to the explore tab and try out some custom animations from other users where you can see a preview of the video and try it out for yourself. And when it comes to smart home connectivity, you have quite a few options. You can add your lights to the Amazon Assistant, the Google Assistant, you can control them directly using Gobi's API with the LAN control option, or you can use a distributed gateway, which allows the Gobi app to run built-in automations with your devices without the need of a smart hub. And as I mentioned earlier, the Pro Kit now has support for Matter, which makes it even easier to integrate the lights into any Matter compatible smart home. Now, I personally use the Home Assistant smart home platform, and I chose the LAN control option to control the lights from Home Assistant using Gobi's API, which works great. 
So after messing around with these lights for a couple of days, I found myself going down the rabbit hole that is Gobi's outdoor lighting, and I stumbled across the Gobi curtain lights at my local Best Buy. If you've never seen curtain lights, they're almost like an LED screen that you can use to show cool animations. And what's really nice is that it was super easy to install and integrate with the other Gobi lights. So I jumped on a ladder and had the curtain lights installed and up and running in about 15 minutes, and they complemented the permanent outdoor lights perfectly. And what's really cool is that you can use Gobi's Dream View, which links all of your Gobi products together to show pre-made scenes with cool colors and themes. I gotta admit this has me wanting to add even more lights like the Gobi floodlights to the mix for an even more over the top look. So when it comes to Gobi permanent outdoor lights, I gotta say I'm definitely a fan. They look great, they're easy to use, they're highly customizable, and they're easy to install as long as you can reach your roof. And if you're looking to buy any of the items I mentioned in this video, be sure to use the links in the video description as I'll be posting links to the best deals on these lights. But that's gonna pretty much do it for this video, guys. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, as always, go ahead and make sure you mash that like button for me. Only about 10% of the guys that are watching this video right now are subscribed to the channel. So be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.